Welcome back Sideways fam. We're back again today with another video here at Comp Turbo USA. And uh, today we went ahead and picked up one of their water-cooled turbos. Um, so it's gonna be an oilless model and I just opened the box. Um, this is going to be replacing the turbo in Ulysses Mark IV Supra. Um, Ivan's Mark IV Supra that we're gonna be doing on dyno next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's up with this thing and kind of go over what we've been told of how this is gonna work. I'm very, very excited about using this. Um, Comp Turbo has been one of our sponsors for a few years here. Um, and they, they give us nothing but love. I appreciate the hell out of them. And they're very local to us because we're located in Orange County in the city of Santa Ana. And they are right here in pretty much Pomona. So, I mean, it's, it's not much more than about a 45 minute drive from where I'm at. And I mean, hey man, who doesn't love uh, being able to actually talk to the owners? I've been through their facility here. It's absolutely amazing. They have a great team and the customer service is awesome. So uh, let, let's get right into this. So I can show you guys what's up with this this thing because this is probably gonna be one of the newer newer style turbos that we're gonna be selling. It's been out for about a year or two. I've never personally used it, um, but in, in the customer's case, he was having an issue with um, all his turbos kept blowing out. I'm assuming it's due to an oil pressure problem. The car has just has too much oil pressure. Um, but for now, the car is making plenty of good power. And I mean, he doesn't want to do a bunch of crazy investment in building the engine and doing all the other stuff. So for now, we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Um, and uh, let's check it out. So mind me, I just tore the box open and uh, the turbo is right here. This is the triple ball bearing billet wheel <coughs> oilless turbo. So if you look at the turbo, there is a grease fitting here on the top of it that apparently you'll have to go ahead and do uh, apply grease every 3,000 miles and it's some NASA grade high formulated grease and then basically you're just going to have an inlet and outlet port for water with nothing on the bottom so you don't need to deal with any of those weird return lines or anything funky like that this is the two and a half inch housing this is a 70 6871 is what the turbo is. So, I mean, it looks pretty similar to the, the the turbos that we typically order, just obviously a bigger blade in the rear, bigger port in the rear. But I mean, all in all, looks super, super awesome. I can't wait to check it out. It's open scroll. We went ahead and did the 81 AR like we typically do for all the 2JZ stuff. Uh, his engine is stock, so we won't need a bigger AR than this. So, I mean, feeling it from a get-go, I mean, it is very, very, very tight. Um, and uh, like little to no play. It doesn't spin like the journal bearings or the regular ball bearings. Um, I'm assuming the grease needs to warm up and be broken in and everything. They had already told us it was gonna be like that. So I am interested to see uh, and, and kind of feel the blade after the turtle has been broken in. But I mean, all in all, it still spins pretty good. I'm, I'm sure it will be badass as hell and spin super awesome and freely once you warm this thing up. So my buddy's already gone back inside right now just to see about getting, um, the fittings that I need, and we're gonna be getting the grease from them. We gotta go pick up a grease gun for this as well. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty cool process to check this out and review this turbo, but I'm very, very excited. Cannot wait to um, throw it on the dyno and see what it does. All right, guys, so we just go back to the shop and I wanted to go over a few things with you real quick uh, with the turbo. So basically, this turbo right here, this is an oilless turbo. Uh, there's two versions of this turbo. This turbo has a Brother turbo that they put in exhaust and stuff like that uh, for like 350Z, G35s, uh, V8 cars, and um, they will run it oilless, which is kind of more race car status, and the turbo doesn't last very long like that. So they made a turbo that's kind of in the middle of that, so you would be able to run something like this and have it still be consistent and like not too, too big, big of a deal to, to, to kind of mess with it. So what happens is, is down here in the top of the turbo, this is Zerk fitting, that I showed you guys earlier a little bit closer. So you have to buy this from Comp, okay? They have their specific grease that is meant for their turbochargers. That, that took them a long, long, long time to engineer to be able to basically not burn like all the rest of the greases and last for a long period of time. Though, they do recommend you pump, I think it's six pumps of grease every 3,000 miles. I'll have to read the manual again because I very I, I kind of just skimmed it. Also, um, just to kind of show you guys as well. So on the side of the turbo down here, there's only water lines on both sides. So there's one on each side of, of these black fittings you can kind of see over here as well. So only it doesn't matter orientation for these turbos. You can have them clocked at one o'clock and 12 o'clock or, you know, three o'clock and nine o'clock. It doesn't, you know, like it doesn't matter what the orientation is. As long as water's coming in and out, they don't care. And it's just basically just to cool the cavity in the turbo. Um, and keep the grease at a slightly lower lower temperature than it would be at, at full 
running potential or whatever. And that was how it was explained to me by the owners of Comp. So we're gonna go ahead and this has already been done to the turbo when we got it. We're gonna go ahead and just install it because it's already been and says on the box when you pick it up for this turbo. It even tells you right here, you know, turbocharger is greased and ready for installation. So back to sizing again, this is a 6871 uh, with a 81AR triple ball bearing billet wheel turbo. So I'm really, really interested to see what this turbo is gonna do. I mean, um, the owners of Real Street were telling us, cause they're a precision company and they sell a lot of precision, you know, that this is the best turbo you could possibly get from precision. And that's why we ended up going ahead and buying that for Drew's car. I believe we went ahead and ordered it in like a 1.1 AR cause they don't offer it in a 81 or 96 or whatever AR when it comes to that stuff. So I went ahead and got it with our 81 housing that we always order for all of our 2JZ customers. A lot of the times we'll do like a 68 AR for a 1JZ customer depending on power. And they do make 90 something and one point something for AR too. So I wanna see what this turbo does spool characteristic wise. And also just on the dyno for power and the amount of boost that we have to run to make the number that we're looking for. So I believe Drew's car did about 730 wheel horsepower when we did it last time or 738 or th a little a little below 750 at, at, at I want to say maybe 28, 26 PSI. So if we can get to the same amount with this turbo on this car, that would be awesome. So you guys will kind of have to kind of bear with me on this video because his his video for this black mark four right next to me that is going on is not done i will probably integrate this later on as well just to kind of skim and kind of peek, pick and choose out of this what i want to use for his video as well because this is his turbocharger but as we can see we got one of our 2jz gte vvti setups in here with the peak boost manifold everything's already done this car is a 96 mark 4 supra Hard top, full blitz kit, um, roll cage, built RM54. So wait for his video. He's gonna have a sick ass dyno, this thing on the dyno, which will also probably integrate possibly in this video as well, depending on how long it ends up being. This thing is just looking super badass and super cool. Cannot wait to install this. I'm probably gonna have to weld a 45 degree on it because of the clearance we're gonna have down here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And, uh, Get it done. All right, guys, so we are installing the brand new Oilist Comp Turbo right now. You can see the pretty thing right there with the turbo ball bearing housing that this thing's got. So we got lucky to where I guess they didn't have the blade that we needed in stock, so they went ahead and gave us an anodized one for free for no extra charge. Everything fits exactly how it's supposed to fit because it already had a Comp Turbo on it. So that is super awesome. I have a separate video that's going up as well, uh, talking about this turbo and kind of the differences and what it does. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start <laughs> getting the front housing welded. I've already tacked it on because we have to run a 45 off the turbo because it's very, very tight. So let me go ahead and do this and we'll go ahead and get the turbo together. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty big in there, actually. I likey. Me likey. All right, guys, so right now I'm welding up another uh, 2JZ water neck. I have a whole bunch of these always here. So for his car right now, we need a water port on the top that's gonna kind of feed in the water and then one that's gonna drain out the water or just two ways to go into the turbo on this way or whatever orientation, as I said before. So I'm gonna finish up the weld on this side. I'm gonna let this thing cool down and then we're gonna go ahead and do the water lines and then we'll be firing this thing up. So I didn't wanna be too annoying. I've already welded some stuff on here already and uh, don't wanna be blinding you guys the whole entire video. So let me go ahead and get this done right now and then we'll get ready. All to right, it. guys, so I just finished welding on the uh, AN fitting and the water neck right here and uh, everything's all plumbed up. So basically what's gonna happen is the turbo is gonna require an inlet and an outlet obviously for water just to kind of search through, like I said, to cool the cavity down. So you can see right here on the water neck uh, you have your 6AN that's going into your turbo here. Let me go ahead and put the camera so you guys can see. You got your 6AN here that's going to go into your 6AN here. Going to go ahead and come out here. And then we're going to go back up into the water pump uh, port right there. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of stiff when we go ahead and fire it up because uh, it's going to have to warm up the bearing and stuff. And this will break in, you know, as we we go ahead and uh, break in the turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up right now. Let's see how it breaks in. It's probably gonna smoke a bit um, only because there was a shit ton of oil and stuff all over everything. It was just super nasty when it came in. So let's go ahead and get it started. And this will pretty much conclude the video on setup and just kind of break in for the turbo. 
All right, so we went already went ahead and started it up. You can see the blade is spinning. Obviously, I'm assuming once the engine warms up, gets a temp, the turbo will be at a probably full speed on the turbo you know what i mean so let's uh, let her warm up right now and then once she gets the full temp we'll see how she's spinning after but for now it's pretty much exactly how she looks you can see her starting to tell already speed up as well so i would assume this is how this would work anyways i mean you have a a grease filled turbo uh, that obviously has to warm up to warm, warm up the grease and liquefy it. So, doesn't seem abnormal to me. Seems pretty uh, pretty good for break-in. So, let's uh, check back in a few minutes. really wanted to go over with you guys with this kind of a setup too is um for all you nat guys that are going to be coming in here to get stuff done or doing anything at your house i mean like think about it labor wise people okay so check it out i don't need to pull your engine out of your car to pull your oil pan off and bung your pan or drop your subframe to to go ahead and um and uh get your, your, your turbo drain line or like turbo feed line even hooked up because it's since it's a water cool turbo I mean, we can plumb into your OEM water neck that has your drain there for all your GE guys. We can plumb into your lower water pump for your for your uh, inland and outlet there too. So it's already there, you guys. So technically, for all of you NAT people, IS300, SC300, GS300, you could buy this turbo that's, you know, retail-wise, it's somewhere probably around two grand, 2,200 bucks, but what, is it going to save you that $1,000 in labor? You're already gonna pay between, you know, what I saw to my customers, obviously is a little bit less, but around $1,200 for a, a standard oil, you know, oil feed, oil return, uh, standard comp turbo that that's not ball bearing, and that's gonna be just standard journal bearing, you know what I mean? So, I mean, anything even in ball bearing application as far as turbos, is still gonna run you somewhere around, you know, $2,000, $2,500 for a full main brand turbo. So for the same price of buying an oil, to, uh, you know, triple ball bearing turbo from Comp because Comp does supply a triple ball bearing technology turbo versus a dual ball bearing like Precision and Garrett and everybody else. It's kind of their patented thing. Um, so anyways, instead of rambling all on, I'm getting to the fact of telling you guys, you guys could have bolt the turbo kit on the car and run the, run the freaking water lines and you'd be running and driving. You wouldn't have to worry about bunging the oil pan or, or welding it or removing it or doing any of that. You can just bolt this right on. So this is a real game changer, guys. I don't, like, I don't think anybody seems to understand like this water-cooled version and oilless, oilless turbo, um, whether you do air-cooled or, or water-cooled, like this is going to cut time for shops in half or for customers in half. You could, you could go home, bolt your turbo kit on your engine and then just bring it in. Mind you, there are specific sizings available for this turbo so it's something that's going to be have to be talked to to me or to someone else who's sponsored or even to comp themselves about what sizing you can order um they also have since it's a triple ball bearing design we could have gone if it was like a mark IV supra um and uh we had a lot of room with like one of our cast manifolds you could fit a huge housing in it one of those three inch you know three inch covers 
you know, with, with a three inch in inducer on it. I mean, it'd be sick. So, you know, definitely check out Comp Turbo, you guys. You know, I, I, I love our sponsors. Uh, they're super, super badass. So let's get a few revs out of this, this turbo, see what she sounds like. I mean, I have very high hopes. Um, and we're gonna be testing this car on this, this, sorry, testing this turbo on his car on Thursday. So let's see what she does, guys. I mean, I, I cannot wait. I'm super, super excited and super ecstatic about this. So let's see what she does right now. And then this is pretty much gonna be the end of the video. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get it. All right, guys, let's give her some quick revs. All right, guys, so this is gonna go ahead and conclude the video on the Comp Turbo Oilless Turbo. So it's all installed. You can go ahead and see the video. It's gonna be up in the next couple of days for Ulysses Car on Dyno. Uh, shout out to Comp Turbo. We do love them and support them 100%. Thank you for backing us for the last couple of years. Um, I won't get too much into the grease tube with you guys. Obviously, you get a grease gun. You drop this in. You go ahead and pump to service the turbo. Not that big of a deal. If you guys really don't understand, let me know. I'll make a video about how to service the turbo, but it's very self-explanatory. Um, the instructions literally come in the box. Everything that you need to know is right here. Read the instructions. It's that easy. So until next time, guys. Peace.